Hi, it's Joanne Tinker. You're watching Marvel's What If, season one, episode five, episode six, episode six. What if Killmonger saved Tony Stark? And I'm really, I would love to be in the room where they come up with these ideas. I guess some of them are drawn from comics, but other ones just seem like putting two characters together that you would never in a million years have dreamed of putting together. And I'm very excited to see what they bring in this episode. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon. And let's go. Yeah. There he is. Uh, what's your afternoon like? <laughs> this is going to be a very interesting friendship. Forged in darkness. Oh yeah. A hero was lost and a villain was given a new chance. Mr. Stark, will you So there's a plus for Killmonger. Spill my drink and it was a 26 McCallum. So And like a lot of soldiers died. We have to do better. Yeah, good. Oh. Perdue, Chief Security Officer. This is such a load of bull. It's supposed to be my promotion. Oh. Because those plans were bankrolled by Stark Industries. <gasps> oh my god, yes! Killmonger. Yes! I'll say this for the new guy. He certainly makes for good TV. Right? My new COO. Wait, you're giving him Obadiah's job? Damn, I, I don't know, Mr. Stark. I think I'm more of a soldier. Which is why it's perfect. You, me. We'll be like Butch and Sundance. Oh, a lot of those character growths that Tony went through is not going through. That is not the message he should be learning. Everyone wants something. Yeah. Wakanda. Does he see him as his way to get that way? Hmm. Oh god. Oh god. Ultron. This is such a fascinating concept. Okay, that changes things. Hey. If we could miniaturize an arc reactor... Oh! <laughs> I love him seeing his hand there as he thought about it. Is he still ultimately after Wakanda? Oh. Is it Wakandans coming to get back what was stolen? Our quarrel is not with you, Ghana. Oh, really? Because you're kind of sending me mixed messages right now. Let me take the vibranium back where it belongs. Sorry, cuz. That ain't gonna fly. <sighs> Holy shit. Combination of Tony Stark and Killmonger. Lethal. Why wear the uniform of your own oppressors? Fight for them, die for them, kid. You gotta be part of the system to change the system. Nah, you could burn it down. Oh. I was hoping that this was him before radicalization, but of course it wasn't. He is so crafty, and like the concept of going up against. Uh, going up with Stark is very, very fascinating in terms of just. The weapons he was able to get his hands on. Oh, little baby Shuri. Well, police are the law. I want justice. <sighs> he wants to avenge. You? Oh my God! Did you overplay your hand a little bit in this reality? Just because you're fighting a worthy cause does not make everything you do right. Always been Killmonger's floor. All because... Oh, I don't know. It's just, yeah, Killmonger's goal has always been noble and he was genuinely wronged. It doesn't excuse what he chooses to do. This seems familiar. Is he going to get what he wants this time around? Because I'm not a fan of that. Will not be that easy. Hydrons operate via a hive matrix, communicating with each other. And it will probably reveal the truth of Wakanda fighting it. I know what it's like to have. 
Goodness. Think about it. You know the truth of what he's saying, King. Who really killed his dad? Even if there's it's time. Are you certain about this, Baba? Entrusting our faith to this. Plus, you're revealing the truth of Wakanda to the world. Open the shields. Wakanda. So the rumors are true. Mm-hmm. This is a very elaborate plan. It's working. Wakanda forever! He would not know how to ride one of those. Plan working out just great, is it? Is he just hoping to like win their support and favour so he can become the next heir? Or is he ultimately going to kill the king and try and claim it now? When the only other claimant would be Shuri, who is a child. It'd be kind of funny if one of the robots got him, I can't lie. Oh. You're still at war with the United States now, fortunately. Oh, goodness. This earth, you shall become the next Black Panther. I hate this because they think, like, oh, you know, we've had a gift of this nephew being brought back into our lives in this awful time. So you can see T'Challa and his dad here? Well, just his dad. Was it worth it? My cousin. Mm hmm Yeah. I did what I had to do. For what? A throne? For vengeance. For my father. And for all my brothers and sisters. T'Challa didn't do anything. Well, you just sat back and watched. You believe the cure for human suffering is more suffering. Yeah, than it's cure. never the cure. Now I were to aim at that country most Americans can't find on the map. By tomorrow, they won't need to. That's just genocide. Even if you think the military or the government of that place is doing evil things. What? How did you get in here? I'm here to help Miss Potts. Yes, sure. How did you get there? Mr. Stark was a genius, but he's not the only genius. <laughs> it appears we have a common enemy in Gera. Heroes I love this. Never really gods. Yeah. Live forever. As do the ones they inspire to carry on the fight. I love that. Okay, this was another really interesting concept and it really takes Killmonger's approach and like the chess he was playing to a whole new level of forward thinking and manipulating and so much closer to being successful if it wasn't for one precocious child. Um, and yeah, I, it's quite true to form that the US would jump at joint fighting a war, especially if we go back however many years ago this was. Um, you know, all that they're really accusing the Wakandans of doing is assassinating one person and the only proof they have is that it was a spear like they don't actually have any proof that that spear was wielded by a wakandan at the time um so i'd like to think that sh between shuri and pepper they're able to rep like, expose killmonger which will get rid of the american army's great defense because the person that they're trying to avenge is also one of their soldiers and wakanda will arrest him or at least you know disown him and then god knows what other shenanigans will take place we will never know because obviously there's a lot going on there i think it shows that killmonger is has always been a very skilled tactician and it's so hard because in so many ways he's one of those villains who you feel for at the end it's why in the end of black panther we kind of have the beautiful moment where he sees the wakandan sunrise before he dies or sunset right set um and kind of it's not like, aha, we got the bad guy. You know, there's some real sadness there because while, yes, he does bad things, yes, he becomes somebody you can't support, he really is someone that has suffered personal injustice at the hands of people that he feels should be looking out for others and who has seen the injustice that people like him face just because of the colour of their skin, which is obviously ridiculous and barbaric. And it is a hard concept to think that there was this highly evolved highly technologically advanced more so than the rest of the world nation of you know in africa that wasn't doing anything to try and combat problems elsewhere but i think the fact that at the end of black panther t'challa is like you know we can't add a point let's tell everyone you know we're going to do we're gonna be a 
power on the world stage, we're gonna let the guard the walls down and everything was the right move and maybe there are other ways Killmonger could have gone about it. So this was a really good episode, it was another really intriguing one and I never feel like I have overly too much to say at the end of these episodes because they are such contained one-off episodes, there's no speculation about what's gonna happen next or great character arc. I think while it was kind of sad to see Tony never fully reaching his real potential, I think the fact that he very quickly jumped into building like a robot to save the day type thing was very true to him and his kind of flippant comment that was flippant here but I wish no one had to have weapons. You sort of wish that just seeing his bomb with his name on it would have been enough to make him fully go against all form of weapons but this was something at the very least. So this was a really good episode. It was um as always beautiful to see T'Challa even though it was really hard to watch him die and to sort of think of Shuri taking on his mantle in a lot of ways and teaming up with Pepper to save the day is everything. So this was a really really good episode as always. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon and thank you for watching.